Whiskey Jason here, Whiskey Live Dublin 2024, together with... Ross McDonald from Intrepid Spirits and Egan's Whiskey. Very, very good. Egan's Whiskey is an independent bottler of whiskey. It a is. brand, mm -hmm. and we have very a lot of different um, bottles here. Tell us a little bit about the history first. Yeah, so Egan's was uh, started in Tullamore. Yep. Uh, Rupert Egan is here today, and he um, sources all the whiskies himself. Yep. He blends them in different levels and then bottles them himself. So they've never had a distillery. They've always been bonders and blenders based out of Tullamore. Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Now, what would be the entry level, the flagship product here? So the entry level would be, uh, it used to be vintage grain, right. but we changed it to Bonders Blend, ah. which um, was launched in November last year. Right. And this is a blend of four different whiskies. There's two um, single grains and two single malts. Okay. So this good. is um, for highballs, uh, made in cocktails, but it's also super smooth to, to drink neat as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So two different grains means two different distilleries, or what, how can I understand that? Yeah, so it'd be different. it can be different distilleries, right. but um, it can be a blend of the same distillery, right. and, and it can change depending on uh, the different cast that Rupert cast, has. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe bourbon cast, maybe sure. Yeah, yeah. so Rupert has about 2,000 casts in right. total, aging from two, three, four years old to 32 years old. Wow. Mm, okay. So there's a huge inventory to pull on to, yep. to create these whiskies. All right, mm. wow. Let's go over to the Endeavor here, right? Yeah. So Endeavour would be the uh, slight peated style. Oh. So it's a, a, again, it's a blend of four different whiskies. Mm -hmm. There's a first fill bourbon. Right. There's a bit of PX sherry. Mm -hmm. um, there's a bourbon cask and a touch of peat. So they use like a, an Isla whiskey and then each of the Irish whiskey in that cask. So an Isla cask. Yeah, which cask, brings that, like that peated yeah. element. So it's about 15% peated. Okay. Uh, it's not too strong, just yep. there in the background. Yeah. I've had that before. No, I had the Fortitude. I did not have the Oh, okay. Endeavor. The Endeavour would be my choice. I, okay. I like that. I like that. Yeah, I like the peach. Right. Yeah. Let's go to the Grand Fortitude here. Yeah, so Fortitude is a all sherry, all PX yeah. sherry cask. So uh, it's a, a lovely sherry bomb. I get loads of raisins and, and honey off it. Uh -huh. A nice bit of sweetness. So a lot of people like that. Yeah. yeah. So all 40% so far? No, so the, the Bonders blend's 40, and then the rest are all 46. Okay, very good. Let's see how bad my eyes are. <laughs> it does say 46. Very yeah, good. yeah. That's great. And then we have a nice little box here. Yeah, oh, yeah. So we're going up a little bit in price and a quality, maybe? Yes, and yes. So Conviction is a 10-year-old. Um, it's a grain and a single malt, okay. and it's aged exclusively in exo cognac casks. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Ten years in cognac. In cast. Ten years in cognac cast, okay. yes. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So it's a, it's most people's favourite, uh, and the the packaging is fantastic. Uh, it was the the biggest selling whiskey in Japan at Christmas. So wow, that's pretty, how did that happen? Yeah, it's, well, it's, they are big in Japan, uh, and, uh, right. and the conviction Hello, was a was a big one. Yeah, yeah, yes, right. they they're very loved out there. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Now, what does this cost in Ireland? Do you know? So Ireland, that's about 90 euro. All right. Great. These are about 55, right. and this is 40. That's what I was thinking. So it's a nice kind of, yeah. Now, Irish whiskey is in the middle of a renaissance. It really is, say. yes. Yeah, yeah. Now, do you think we have basically plateaued, or is there much, much more growth to happen? I think there's there's more to come. Okay. I, I think um, there's definitely more in the high end to come. Right. That's that's still growing. Yep. Uh, more than the low end. The low end is kind of taken up with Jameson and Bushmills. <laughs> yeah. um, but I think uh, cast finishes will always keep growing. Right. Different di different styles of yep. cast finishing, which is what uh, Rupert and the Egan's brand sort of um, is good at, which is good. Can you give us maybe a little bit of an idea of what a cast finishing future could look like? That's special? Yeah, well, I've always wanted to see the them past. do like a, a Mizunara cask, ah, perhaps, you know, yes. like a nice Japanese cask. Um, he's done different single casts right. for different markets. Yep. Uh, most recently, he did a 32-year-old um, private cask for uh, for the Japanese market again. Okay. Um, so, different age statements, different cast finishes, I think that's the way forward, yep. uh, with the core range sitting below that. So. I never knew that Japan was such a big market for you. Yeah, yeah, it really is, oh, yeah. There's a lot of shots on LinkedIn. <laughs> yeah, 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 how's it going? You well, yes. So we're going to end now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank Lovely you very day. much. Whiskey Jason here yeah. together with. Lovely Ross from Megan's. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.